Severino Giacomo Antonio Camozzi was born September 24th, 1875, at Drugno, Italy. Severino, or Sam, as many knew him, was the youngest of six children of Giovanni Battista Camozzi and Maria Margarita Vieta. In 1901, Canadian census, line 44, they spell his name as Sam Camozzi, or C-O-M-O-Z-I. He was listed as a boarder for the Camp McKinney District, Yale East. It lists his birth date as September 4th, 1875, age 26, and his place of birth is Switzerland, but later census correctly lists his place of birth as Italy. He lists his date of immigration to Canada as 1895, his race being listed as Swiss and nationality as American, religion is Roman Catholic, and occupation is minor. Wage earnings was $600 a year, and his mother tongue was Swiss. We don't know why Sam would lift Swiss as his mother tongue, but he may be like his older brother Giuseppe, who was fluent in six different languages. Also, Sam's place of birth, Drugno, was a northern border town with Switzerland, and Sam, like many of his fellow villagers in those days and the centuries before, went north to France, Holland, and Switzerland to ply their trade as chimney sweepers. Sometime around 1904, Severino made acquaintance with Baldo Bregalisi in Roslyn, B.C. Either through Baldo or a prearranged marriage, he meets Baldo's sister, Teresa Bregalisi. Teresa was born May 29, 1883, at Umbria, Italy, and came to Canada sailing on the ISS La Savoy via New York. She departed France on July 9, 1904, and arrived at New York City July 16, 1904. According to the manifestations of alien passengers, line 25, Teresa's age is listed as 21 and is her occupation as a householder. She was traveling by herself and heading for Roslyn, B.C., she declares $30 to her name and is going to join her brother Baldo in Roslyn, B.C. A month later, Sam and Teresa were wed on August 4th, 1904 at Roslyn, B.C. The marriage certificate lists Teresa's parents as Angelo Bregalisi and Magdaleno Bregalisi, or it, her, real, her maiden name was Cavallini, as recorded in Sam's notebook. The first child was born, Margarita, in Revelstoke, B.C., May 25, 1905, and the next year, the second child, Remo, was born in Revelstoke, B.C., November 7, 1906. There was a third child born in Revelstoke, B.C., Mary, but she was stillborn. That was October 18, 1907. Sam went into grocers and men's furnishing business with his brother-in-law, Baldo, in Revelstoke, B.C., from about 1905 to 1908. The 1906 B.C. directory lists the business name as Camozzi B.B. and Company. In about 1909, Sam and family made their way to Prince Rupert, B.C. According to the 1910 directory, he was listed as the proprietor of the Grandview Hotel. There were two children born in Prince Rupert, B.C., Roberto, born March 27, 1910, and Florence, born July 6, 1912. The 1911 Canadian census lists, or lines 1 to 5, lists Sam's Camozzi and family, and they lived on First Avenue in Prince Rupert, B.C. 
says that Sam arrived in Canada in 1892 and was naturalized in 1903. Teresa lists her arrival to Canada as 1903. According to Teresa's 1952 border crossing identification card, the family immigrated from Prince Rupert to Seattle, Washington, March 2, 1913, via the SS Prince George. Also, we can see the date is verified on Roberto Camozzi's naturalization papers. Here a 1930s video clip of a similar family's voyage from Prince Rupert via the SS Prince George. Here is a view of the city, the growing metropolitan center of Prince Rupert that was founded in 1906 and was to rival Vancouver as a port city. Here we see the ferry, the SS Prince George. The first child that was born in Blaine, Washington, USA was Anita. She was born April 21st, 1914. Then came along Victor Ferdinand, born also in Blaine, Washington, uh, June 9th, 1918. That same year, around September the 12th, Sam enlists in the U.S. Armed Forces to serve in the Great War or World War I. According to his enlistment paper, he was working as a mine foreman for the Pacific Eastern Company. After the war, the next child, Linda, was born in Blaine, Washington, November the 3rd, 1919. The 1920 U.S. Census, lines 2 to 10, lists Sam and family. They were still living in Blaine, Washington. Sam lists his place of birth as Italy, but his father's place of birth is Switzerland. His occupation was a foreman of a coal mine. In 1924, the last child was born, Helen. She was born in Washington, or Blaine, Washington, on April the 8th, 1925. The 1930 U.S. Census for Bellingham, Washington, lists Camozzi family lines 80 to 88. All the family is listed except Remo. Sam lists his place of birth as Switzerland, the same as his father's. He lists his occupation as prospector and working in the mines. Two years later, Sam dies, April 10th, 1932, of silicosis, a minor's lung disease at Blaine, Washington, at the age of 77 years old. His headstone reads, Severino Antonio Camozzi, September 24th, 1875 to April the 10th, 1932, pioneer, mining, and businessman of the West. Teresa lived on for another 29 years and died May 16th, 1962 in Seattle, Washington. As far as their children, the eldest, Margarita, went on to marry a Paul W. Delaney. They had no children, and she also died in Seattle, Washington, on March the 18th, 1974. Remo was married three times, first to Helen Blythe, the second woman not known, and had three daughters with his last wife, Latmus. Their names are Anita, Helen, and Teresa. Remo died February 1982 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Roberto was also married three times and had one child with a third wife, Adrian. His daughter was named Adelie Ann Camozzi. Roberto died June the 7th, 1985 in Seattle, Washington. Florence married to Gordon Thomas. December 22nd, 1934, at Kootenay, Idaho. They had three children, two sons and a daughter, Jerry, Linda, and Stephen. Florence died October the 18th, 1981, in Bellingham, Washington. Anita married a Walter Hartman. They had two children, Marguerite and Robert. Anita died June 24, 2000 in Seattle, Washington. 
Victor Ferdinand went on to marry a Ruth Clemens, November 4th, 1943, in State College, Pennsylvania. They had four daughters, Carol, Patricia, Vicki, and Anita Ruth. Victor died December 11th, 1997, in Jerome, Idaho. Linda married an Oscar Lloyd Stanfield. They had two children, Raymond and Teresa. Linda is still living in Washington State. The last child, Helen married a Keith Alton Clinic. They had four sons, Ro Donald, Robert, Ronald, and a David P. Helen is also alive and well, living in Washington State. There are many more grandchildren and great-grandchildren of Severino and Teresa Camozzi that are not listed.